This is what we're making today. Stormcrest Pie. First, we're going to make the dough. In 2 cups of flour, we're going to add in half a teaspoon of salt and 2 tablespoons of sugar, and then mix. Once we've mixed all the dry ingredients, we're going to add in 2 egg yolks, 3 tablespoons of melted butter, and 4 tablespoons of warm water. We're going to mix this all together and start forming our dough. During the first step of forming our dough, what we're trying to accomplish is give all the flour even hydration. Once the flour is all evenly hydrated, we're now going to form our ball. We're going to knead this for about 15 minutes by hand. A very important note about this dough is the amount of water you add in may vary depending on the humidity or where you're at. Once the dough is formed, we're going to rest it for one hour. These are sirloin strips that I bought at Walmart for $4. We're going to cut them into cubes along with some carrots, potatoes, and onions. Once we've cut up all our meat and veg, we're going to flash fry the protein. We're going to fry this for about a minute and then set it aside. Using the same pan, we're going to add in our carrots, potatoes, and onions. We're going to saute this for about 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, we're going to add in our seasonings. We're going to add in 2 tablespoons of salt and pepper, 2 tablespoons of smoked paprika, 1 tablespoon of cayenne, 1 tablespoon of oregano, and then mix. We're going to saute this off for 5 minutes. What we're trying to do here is develop flavor by letting the spices release its oils and caramelizing the vegetables. Once we've achieved that, we're going to throw the meat back in and then give it another mix. Next, we're going to add in half a cup of flour into our stuffing. We're going to saute this off for another 3 minutes, ensuring that the flour is cooked off so that it doesn't give our sauce a grainy feel. Once we've cooked off the flour and it's turned brown, we're going to add in 500 milliliters of beef stock little by little. It's important not to add all the beef stock in at once or your flour may clump. We're going to keep adding our beef stock until we've achieved our desired consistency. If you put too much beef stock in, simply reduce your sauce. Lastly, we're going to add in two bay leaves and let this simmer for about 10 minutes. We're going to set it aside and let it cool down. After one hour, our dough should be ready. We're going to flour our surface and then roll our dough into a log. We're going to cut it into four even pieces. We're going to take one of the portions, round it out, flatten it with our hands, and roll it out with a pin. This dough was about 8 inches in diameter. Once we've rolled it out into a circle, we're going to place our cool stuffing on half of the dough. As you guys can see, I may have made the stuffing a little too saucy. If that's the case for you guys, just strain the sauce off. If you guys don't know, the dough recipe I use is for an empanada. But obviously this is much bigger than an empanada. It looks like we're building a calzone. Once we've placed all our stuffing, we're simply going to pinch the edges to close the dough. Once we've closed the edges, we're going to fold and pleat it just like an empanada. Now let's design our pie.
Once we've made our design, we're going to give the pie an egg wash and then bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After 30 minutes in the oven, this is what it looks like. If you don't have an oven, you also have an option to deep fry or air fry this. Now this part was the scariest part for me. I didn't know if the dough would hold or if it will collapse. Luckily for me, the crust didn't crumble and I didn't have to remake the dish. And once I cut it out, I simply threw it onto a plate. Alright, it's time to eat this. One thing I will say is that this dough gives out a very nice fragrance. The dough was crispy and flaky and it has sweet notes from the sugar. I would say that that dough was a success. I do wonder though what would happen if I deep fried this. As for the design, I mean it's right there you can see it. Uh, could it have been better? I feel like it could have. It could have been a little bit more detailed but eh, it is what it is. As for the filling, honestly, it wasn't very good. If I was to remake this, I would definitely use ground beef. I only use sirloin strips because that's what it looked like in the picture. But honestly, this would be better with ground beef. As for the seasoning, uh, I feel like there's too much paprika. Honestly, this is not like an empanada at all. It tastes more like uh, it tastes like paprika. Anyways, that's it for my Stormcrest recipe. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.